Welcome to Learning with Coach Mo, Physical Activity and Health. For today's activity, we're going to play a homemade version of Battle Door. And you're probably sitting there going, what in the world is Battle Door? Battle Door is the origin of badminton. And essentially, it's a game of badminton without a net. So they take the birdie and the racket, and they just hit the birdie back and forth with each other. So for our homemade Battle Door, we're going to have to have a little bit of equipment. So we made a homemade racket. And you can make homemade rackets with a wooden spoon and a paper plate. If you don't have a wooden spoon, you can use a ruler or a spatula. I have another one here with a spatula. Or any kind of stick. You can even pick sticks up out of the yard. If you don't have paper plates, you can use a pie tin, a flat piece of cardboard, or anything kind of rigid. So you can even use a Tupperware lid and tape that onto your stick. To tape it onto my stick, what I did is I used the tape and I made an X across my stick or my spoon and then I put a strip of tape across the top to hold it all in place. So now that we have our equipment, let's get up, let's get moving, and let's get active. So we need to make our ball. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of newspaper and wad it up. So now that we have our racket and our ball, we need to warm up. So you need to get a handshake grip with your racket, like you can shake its hand, all right? And you're just gonna hit it in your right hand five times. And if you can do it more than five times, that's great. After you do it five times with your right hand, you're going to take your left hand and you're going to make a handshake grip with your left hand. And you're going to try to hit it five times with your left hand. Now you just need one ball and you're going to volley it back and forth. And when you're doing this, try to see how many times you can hit the ball without it falling to the ground. And that is homemade battle door. So if you have a hard time making your piece of paper stay in a ball like I did, you can just add a little bit of tape around the ball and then it's a little easier to keep it in ball form and hit back and forth. The weekend challenge for this weekend is to see how many times you can keep the ball in the air with your partner. Thank you for tuning in to Learning with Coach Mo, and I hope you have a great weekend.